Well, joining me now to speak about this is a gender advocate, Tessie Biobaku. Thank you very much for joining me at this point. In all of this, what came to mind when you uh, saw this story? I'm sure you have followed this development. What came to mind? Well, good afternoon. Um, thanks for having me on board. A lot came to mind. Um, coincidentally, I am from Ibom State, and mm. it's not just about because I'm from there. I finished from the University of Uyo. And um, having schooled in Uyo, um, if I remember, uh, I recollect that Uyo was such, to an extent, a safe place. Because um, this was I, I was um, born bred up in Lagos, and going to the University of Uyo was more like my first time of going there alone. Now, in your born a graduate, um, a, a girl child that felt the need of, I must get myself educated. She didn't have excuses with regards to, oh, I'm an orphan. So I have all the excuses to say, okay, because I'm an orphan, I didn't have the necessary facilities or the necessary financial support to let me go to school. She, she was able to go through the educational system and graduated. And of course, the next thing is for her to look for a way to um, get a job. I mean, the whole thing just boils down to why wouldn't there be a safe place for the girl child? Mm. You're not safe in the daytime. You're not safe at, at home. You're not safe in the, in the nighttime. So where? It becomes a if it's wrong for you to be a girl child. In your bond things, I mean, it, it, it's not about, you know, this rhetoric about um, what was she wearing. Uh, probably she, uh, you know, she was not dressing properly. Probably she didn't go out at the right time. We must come to understand that this now boils down to we knowing that we must address the issue of sexual assault, rape, and even killing now of victims. It's, there's need for us to amplify our voice. It, it's, it entails right now a synchronized you know, articulation of having the government on board, we, the community on board. This is not just about women. It's about the men and the women. For us to have inclusive support to make sure that this barbaric act, this evil, must stop. It is not right. It's not good for our society. It's not good for us to be caught up in a, in a situation where we're no longer safe. Hmm. It needs to be addressed. Enough of us embracing something that is not normal to become normal. The sad part about this is having to have the rapists sometimes looking as if they are the victims. Mm. This goes beyond somebody is my family member, mm -hmm. is a colleague, is, um, um, uh, is my twin sister. What is wrong is wrong, and we must deal with it. Accountability is very key. Mm. These people must be taken off the streets in a proper in a, in, in a way that when the next person tries to do this, they will look at the consequences and definitely refrain from it. I definitely agree with you on all of that. Uh, but there's also one thing that uh, for me has uh, uh, been thrown up. The policy of waiting 24 hours after a case has been reported in, in this, in this, in this uh, matter, in, in this case, it was reported and the police were told the, the families that they should wait for 24 hours before they can, it can be acted upon. What do you think of this? Do you think it needs to change? Yeah, it needs to change. This has to change. That's why we're looking at, let us have laws mm. right now that fit into our reality. Let's have laws that changes with our time. If like the friend had raised that concern that this is what is happening. And there was, I mean, an effort made as at maybe around the same time. I, I guess to an extent, this would have gone a long way. Mm. 
in maybe surviving her for not being raped and being killed. I mean, there was also an issue like this in um, a cry bomb. I think this, um, I think, was it this year, where a girl tried, she, uh, had to, I think she, she killed the person, she, she felt raped her, and she had to jump and all that across and people you know then people didn't you know it looked as if the the story was not um quite um coercive enough mm -hmm. but right now you look at this this girl went there thank god that she had you know she, she was able to tell the friend yeah and that mm -hmm. goes to show us that to our next thing we must let people know our location where we're going to our intent but again let me say this there's no way where this boy is staying, there's no way that, you know, he's, not, he's surrounded by human beings too. All right. So right now, it's for us to know that when we see something, we say something, and then we activate it. Talking about action. saying if something. that somebody is not, something is not right around us, we bring that person and we report them. All right, so, so how, how, how would you rate the influence of social media in apprehending uh, the corporates? Honestly, commendable, remarkable, and it shows how Nigerians are wonderful people. Immediately, immediately Udwa Umo, the girl in Yubong's friend, raised this concern. I must applaud all the people that, you know, the social media, you know, went into taking responsibility and seeing that, okay, we must see this to an end. We mm -hmm. must see what we can do. And again, thankfully to even the friend that realized that, look, even though I'm not in Uyo, I noticed something. I didn't, she didn't need to wait to say, okay, maybe till the next day or another time, or maybe when she calls me back. She went into understanding that, no, I understand this friend of mine. I know who I'm relating with. Mm -hmm. I understand to an extent. I can have that intuition that something is wrong somewhere. And she made that effort. So social media really helped in making sure that to our next thing we're able to be exposed to this kind of, you know, to, to understand that this is even happening. I mean, you just like the brother said, you won't even know that your neighbor, you know, is is, is one perpetrating mm -hmm. evil just by your side there. Looking at uh, Udwa Frank, the killer, or suspected killer, you won't see that young man as someone that would do such an act. Mm -hmm. But what even, what this boils down to, where is our humanity? As a human being, where is your conscience? All right. Why would you, no matter what, you know, this excuse right. about, oh, it's poverty and all that, we should, we, we, you know, we should change. There should be that mindset shift of saying that there's a blame somewhere. Well, Why would see. you take the life of um, a human being? It's very wrong and it's barbaric. And it has to stop. And they must face the consequences. The Thank law needs to much, take charge. Uh, and make sure that... All right. Thank you very much, Gender Advocate, for um, Tessie Biobaku, for talking to us on this. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on board.